Hello guys, today we are going to show you how to block any particular website from your laptop or desktop system. Well, the question arises is uh, why do we need to actually block any website? So the major reason being uh, the parental control. You don't want your kids to spend uh, a lot of time over uh, useless websites. And also, also in official setups, uh, you don't want your employees to, uh, to spend their time surfing on uh, social networking sites or just uh, spend time chatting. So this proves to be a very handy uh, feature. It's very simple. Let me go on my uh, website. Now I'll show you how to block my website from my system. Currently, I'm using Windows 8, but uh, this feature is uh, uniform across all the OS. I have to click on Notepad and run as administrator. This feature is basically so that only the person who has the admin rights over a system shall be able to change the settings. Now I click on File, Open. I go on my Windows C OS, click on Windows, then go to System 32, and from there, click on Drivers. There's a folder named here as a ETC. Just go into that. Right now, there are no files showing. Let me change the file extension. And click on Hosts. As you can see, you have to concentrate on this uh, lower part of this particular file. I already blocked Facebook. That is the reason uh, this particular uh, last four line items have been added. So in the default, when you open for the first time, you will see the upper portion only. Now you have to see the upper IP address that is 127.0.0.6. Everything else remains the same from the IP address the first line that I have highlighted. After that, this goes on to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you can add up to many any web any number of websites. Let me type here reviewmantra.com. There are two ways to access a website basically directly enter the name or you enter with, with the prefix of www. So you have to do it manually here for both the options. I have entered the settings, change the settings. I have to click on file and save. Close this file. I again go to my browser. Type the name of my website. As you can see, that it is not getting loaded. It says the error is connection refused. Let me type again with www. Dot. It's not getting loaded. So it's a very simple feature basically. A uh, person has need to have the admin rights for this, and uh, you can change the settings uh, afterwards also. I can remove these particular websites from the, that file, and it will be accessible afterwards. So guys, I ho hope that you like this video. Please hit the like and share button if you like this video. We invite your comments and do subscribe to our channel.